Uh, Chris Chinock here and the Dolby Suite at NAB 2014. I've just had a demo of uh, what they're showing. Uh, actually, what you're looking at here is the um, mock-up of a uh, post-production suite um, with the uh, Dolby High Dynamic Range um, um, reference monitor on the left uh, and their standard um, uh, reference monitor, uh, the 100 nit 709 reference monitor on the right. Uh, the left one can go to about 4,000 nits of peak brightness and supports uh, P3 color gamut. So um, the, the, uh, there's a couple of pieces of news here. One uh, is that uh, they've been working um, with Filmlight on their base light uh, color grading uh, software system uh, be to basically be able to grade now using this reference high dynamic range monitor. Um, there isn't actually not much that they have to do with the, with the base light uh, system at this point. Uh, simply because uh, uh, film content has had high dynamic range for many years now, and so they're used to working with, uh, with that uh, ingested content. Uh, they just had not, not been able to output the content in high dynamic, dynamic range in, until now. Uh, so basically, you, you go through the same, uh, use the same tools, you do the same color grading process, uh, but now you don't have to compress it to the 100 nits and uh, and 709 color space, you've got much more that you can play with uh, to get a, a, much, a much better grade at this point. Now, the, the attributes of that grade are all saved uh, as, uh, as metadata and export as an XML file, uh, and that gets then packaged with, with the content and uh, has to then go through a, a whole encoding and delivery system so that information can be decoded uh, at the home uh, to be able to reproduce the, dynamic the high dynamic range. Uh, we've talked about that in, uh, in, other, uh, in other videos and articles. Uh, but the, I the idea is that there's also a, a transform or a map uh, at the display itself that is specific for that particular manufacturer's model and make, uh, which understands and calibrates the capabilities of that display, uh, and then can use the metadata that comes from the grade to uh, transform uh, the, the full high dynamic range uh, grade to the capabilities of that particular TV. Now the TVs that will be coming out, uh, they've announced partnerships with uh, with uh, uh, Sam, uh, with uh, Sharp, Vizio, and TCL. Uh, those are all shown at uh, at CES, and the first one should be out uh, toward the end of this year. Um, they've also have partnerships with encoding companies uh, to, be to be able to deliver this. So uh, the 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 idea here is that they're working the whole uh, pipeline here to be able to deliver this content uh, to the home. Uh, and obviously this announcement with, uh, with Filmlight is a, a key component of this. Uh, they'll also be working with uh, basically two or three studios uh, this year to start to work on a backlog of, of existing content, and, and that can be digitally acquired or f uh, scanned film-based content, uh, to remaster this using the, uh, the, the high dynamic range uh, process, the Dolby Vision process. Um, and th th those studios will actually get these uh, uh, copies of this uh, this high dynamic range reference monitor, uh, which is on the right, on the left. I'm sorry. Uh, so they'll be able to do the grading. Obviously, you have to have that. Um, so um, the other th announcement that they're talking about at the show here is um, really a, a, a prototype of a new uh, monitor, uh, and that's a 32-inch uh, LCD. Uh, that can go up to about a peak uh, luminance of uh, 2,000 nits, uh, and we'll have the P3 color space. Uh, they will not commercialize this, but it's been developed as a prototype to spur uh, some thinking, and hopefully others will, uh, will uh, take the manufacturing ball and run with it. Uh, and the idea is to use this in, in post-production or in uh, on-set for, uh, for dailies review. Um, the other piece that I thought was very compelling is um, the way they're going to start to create a, uh, a grading scale for the display products that will be uh, um, delivered to the market. Uh, peak luminance is one aspect of the high dynamic range experience, but the, the, the contrast and the color space are also uh, equally important components. Um, so Dolby is working with some of the manufacturers to develop a grading system that will consider all three of those components um, in the ultimate performance of the, of the display itself. Um, clearly, um, some displays that have more peak luminance but a reduced contrast uh, may not score as well as something that has uh, 
you know, very high contrast and a wide color gamut, but not as much of uh, a peak luminance. Think OLED versus uh, LCD. Um, so no details yet on that, but I th uh, that should be very interesting to take a look at uh, uh, going forward. Uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central.